Okay, we're gonna do a project and we're gonna make a denim chain. So what you're gonna need is a, some wire gauge. And this is like a heavy duty wire gauge. I got this from like the Home Depot. Home Depot. And you're gonna take it and I bend it already, cut it with the wire clippers and I uh, put it around my neck. That's how the wire gauge is gonna go. So, but I'm gonna make it a denim. It always get a denim one, right? So I got my hot glue gun heated up. I got the denim from Joanne Fabric, cut it into all these little pieces, and it's it's kind of still wet. So it's gonna be a long process, but I'm just gonna give y'all the bread and butter. So you take it, wrap, wrap, wrap it around the, the wire gauge. And then once my hot glue gun heat up, once it heats up, it's not hot yet. Boom. Is it on? So it is gonna be a long process. Cause that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm gonna continue and you could just wrap it once like this if you want it, or you can wrap it multiple times. So I kind of want it to kind of take up the wire. So that's why I'm wrapping it like I'm doing on the wire so that it can um, kind of take it up. But you could do it either way that you want to. And I'm missing a whole video. I went back to YouTube because I was telling y'all to check out the denim top that I made. And what I realized, there's no denim top. It never, the video never loaded. So I was disappointed about that. I will tomorrow put that outfit back on, but I had showed everybody. I know y'all don't like me saying that word. I showed how to put it together. So this is the denim top and the jeans. I'm going to um, put it on quickly out of frame. But I apologize. I thought that this top loaded, but unfortunately, it did not load. So I will have to go back and redo it. But this is the top that I was showing y'all how to put together. So it's a peplum denim top. So, of course, I can't fit it with this one on. But I'll put it on a later date and show y'all and see it got the puff sleeves. So this is the top that's missing. And I did the stack jeans, but I added this at the bottom. See? So when I'm wearing this, so this was the outfit that I made and the video did not load. So the footage on how to do it is I don't have it anymore. Remember Misha TV? How to make uh, puff sleeves. So... Right now, this one is going to be a very long, long process. But y'all see what I'm doing is just the wire gauge. And I am starting to glue the little denim scripts around the wire gauge. So I'm going to continue to do this until I get the desired look that I'm going for. And I'll come back. So sorry about that footage of y'all like, I don't see no denim peplum. That's the denim peplum that YouTube, I don't know, it didn't load. So I got to do it over. So, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to keep doing it till I get it full and I'll come back. Bye. Okay, so I am back. So as you can see, I wrapped it all around the wire gauge and my two final pieces. Um, I'm going to put a little hook chain there and... I squeeze it and make it as tight as I want it. I always get it hooked in my hair for some reason. I hate when I do that. So, if you can see. So, just imagine if you're wearing a top or whatever or whatever. But it is a denim choker. A denim and the wire gauge came from Home Depot. And uh, you can get different gauges, different size gauge. And my denim is still wet because I washed it, soaked it in bleach. And 
that's why I still kind of look like this. I put it in a dryer a little bit, but I think that is amazingly beautiful. So this is my denim chain. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. So you can make it as thick and full as you want it. Bye-bye. Okay, here are a couple still shots. So yes, if you guys want to make this, pick up that wire gauge from uh, Menards or Home Depot and make your own. Thanks for watching.